line sentence. Okay? So like not like a humongous sentence. Okay, but here's what you gotta keep in mind. Okay? Five or six questions. Six questions? Yes. Okay. Does terrorism need to involve the killing of many people or can it affect just one person? Okay, just keep that in mind. Can it involve simply the destruction of property with no injury? Okay, so no one got hurt, but we destroyed property. Can governments commit acts of terrorism or is the term reserved only for people who operate outside governments? You got to decide, is it uh, separate people or is it governments? Um, can it involve the people of one country attacking citizens of another? And does motive make a difference in terrorism? And then does terrorism need to be intentional? So come up with your own definition in like one sentence, and then you're going to get a small group. It's just like, it it's doesn't short, have to be, it's yeah, it doesn't have to be really big, a big definitional sentence. In your own words, what is it? All right, anybody need more time? Here's what you need to do. Get in groups of like two or three, okay? Combine your definition. You have, you have a choice. You can combine your definitions. You can choose a definition that you think is better than your choice, or you can uh, combine your definitions together, okay? So that requires you, and you need to choose a spokesperson that's going to tell us what your definition is. Okay. Hey, real quick, Lou. Real quick, make sure you pay attention to the questions too. All right, ask the, ask each other those questions because that comes into play when we do the next one. Yeah, one definition. One definition altogether. You don't have to answer all of them. It's just combine those. Think about them. Keep them in mind. But how does it not happen? It is obviously a You don't like the wrong person. So, if someone comes to and they just kill one person, what would happen is the terrorists would just hold them in the water. Or would they be murdered? How would they be killed? So then, when you say large and small scale, 
So what would you consider to be if it kills, if it kills at least five but still small as it comes to this, not small as if it kills more than five people, Terrorism is a violent act 
on a country tour or the people that has a set motive on causing destruction. Repeat one more time. Terrorism is a violent attack on a country soul or the people that has a set motive on causing destruction. Okay, did you use the word act or did you use the word attack? Act. Define act. Act is um, something you take. How can I put it? Uh, yeah, it's something. I was trying not to be basic, but something that you do or. Okay. So then, if you say it's a violent act, define a violent act. Um, what does that mean? Violent, uh, outside of the norm. Uh, no, like yeah, basically, what, uh, what, what is norm? I mean, okay, basically, you're coming over here and causing, um, I can't even put it into words. It's, it, it's in my head, but. Yeah, ca- yeah, so ca- there you go. Chaos. 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 Okay. chaos. Does it have to? What is? Does and basically, it have to you do? have everyone on your to- on their toes, and they're. Just, okay. Yeah, okay. Chaos. Time. That's your word. Okay. All right. Ready? Okay, Andrew. Uh, you said terrorism is the act. Terrorism is the act of planned assault by an individual or group that results in destruction or injury because of differences in belief. Because of what? Dislike somebody, it's because they had they thought about something different than what you thought. Okay, give me an example. Like, if Jonna like hated cookies, okay, and I love cookies, now I hate Jonna because she hates cookies. Okay, <laughs> all right, <laughs> okay, y'all ready? <laughs> Yeah. 
errors with any violent, violent prejudice act towards a person or people based on their gender. So your definition includes prejudice. said they don't have to have a motive. All right, that's the first time that one of y'all said that. Okay, so in terms of, uh, let's see, like give me an example of maybe a time you might have known that there was a terrorist act about it. Okay, theater. What did George Bush say that we were having a war on? Okay, what does that mean? Okay, so that means anyone who's trying to come into the U.S. What is, so can it be anyone who's in the U.S. already? Yeah. Okay, and give me an example of that. Recently happened. Yeah, go for it. I was gonna say a KKK. Like okay, people. within the within the. Okay, I'm saying what? San Bernardino. Yeah, San Bernardino. Okay. All right. Here's what we're gonna do next. Well, first, I want to ask this question because I want you to think about this while you're reading the scenario. How does? I want you to think about it. Don't answer it right now. How does media, the way that you have viewed terrorism, how has that affected your definition? Hold on, pause. It's okay. Think about it because we're going to talk about it. Notice that Sam just said the word our. I'm not trying to, no, no hate, but he, why did he say the word our? Because why? Who was our? America, right? Okay. So how has the media, no, don't answer, how has the media affected your opinion of what a terrorist, when you think of a terrorist, who are you most likely thinking of? Someone from Middle East. Someone from the Middle East. No, that's fine. He can answer that. That's fine. Okay, yeah. Someone from the Middle East. Why? Because the media they have to be more about. Exactly. Okay. So here's what we're gonna do. With your groups of people, there are different scenarios. You're gonna answer the question: Is it a terrorist act? If so, who's the terrorist in the situation? Okay. And then, what additional events would you need to know? in order to uh, decide whether or not it's a, it's a terrorist. Like, there might be some extra things that you need to know to decide whether it's a terrorist attack. Make sense? Yeah. All right. Okay, so on step two of the paper. Oh, also, these are real events. Okay? Real events, but the countries oh. are covered up. So you won't know who it is until after. But these are real things. Are these recent? Uh, some of them are recent. Some of them are not. So you're deciding. Which of the situations below are terrorism? Who are the terrorists in the situation? Okay? And what additional information would you need to know to be more sure of your answers? Okay? Yes, you can write on this. It is yours. All right, so read it together. That requires you like speaking. Read it together. And then decide. Based on based on the scenario I've given to you. Your definition of terrorism. 
United States. And he went Reagan. I wonder the Palestinians are. Egypt. Yes, it's the Palestinians. Okay, so again, you ready? Iraq is Israel. Reagan is Palestine. Bolaire is the United States. How does that connect to what we've been talking about? Well, to chapter 29. How does that go back to the 70s and what we were talking about? What was that Egypt and the yeah. Egypt and Israel and America? They went in the Okay, what did you say? And then what did you say? I said that you need to get familiar with the Bible with these instances to get back to track back. Okay. And who do we normally back? Israel. Yes, we back Israel in this situation, right? So, how did, does, does that change anyone's view on what the situation is? No? Okay. All right, number two. Let's talk about number two. Number two has a corporation in it, so that's interesting because it throws in the economics of it, okay? So, number two, let's see, let's get Jackie. Yeah, you tell me what y'all talk about number two. Hold on. Chill. Shh. Anybody say that it was terrorism? Yes, that's a question. Hold on. That, that, it depends on your definition. Well, it has to be a full out action of what you would consider to be terrorism. Okay, so you can have a full out action. And off that, has anybody defined it for you in general? Like, has anyone defined the idea of war on terrorism? What does that mean? Has anybody defined that? Like, for you in the media? <laughs> no? <laughs> it's still on, don't worry. Okay, um, had no one's defined it for you, right? So why is it so confusing to come up with a definition? Because there's no set in stone definition. There's no set in stone definition. Exactly. What was your, did you say it was terrorism? Yeah. Okay, why? I said the farmer for terrorists because they were threatening to burn stuff. And that's not protesting. That, that's just yes, it, that's No. Who burns stuff at a protest? No, he didn't. Up. He didn't. Uh, so did. Okay, oh, pause. K, K, K. Pause. Why are you up on me? Well, pause. Well, you don't, you don't bring violence against violence. That's like fighting fire with fire. Whoa, chill. Okay, finish your response, oh. and then you can respond back. I'm just saying fight and fire with fire. You don't fight violence with violence. Okay, and what's your response? No? I don't know. Okay. Well, um, what about when the um, Marcus said that if they weren't doing anything to you, and they would kill you, and then all this would be dead here? Yes, terrorism on the, whoever tear gas, whoever. Okay, so your you definition then includes what? What is the difference in your definition than the rest of them? <laughs> Why is it that you think it's terrorism? Why? Because they're they're going to inflict damage or harm against, against people if they burn a building. Yeah, he said they're protesting. They're protesting, and how it uses violence as part of protest. Okay, but it's okay. So, all right, pause. Hold on. Yes. Oh, you're saying because they have the intent to. How do you know they actually did? Oh, good question. Look at you, girl.
The corporation, y'all won't know the corporation, but they're Monsanto corporation. What were the crops that you didn't They didn't say. Okay? Can we talk about number three? Yeah. Okay. Did that change anybody's views? No? Okay. All right, number three. Let's see. No, it wasn't. Okay. Well, depending on according to your definition, but yeah. Sam, y'all tell us what y'all on what you did for three. Can you say yes or no? Yeah. Okay, yes it was terrorism because Okay. What does number three bring up? This question. Raise your hand for that. What is number three? What's the question that it brings up? Yes. We asked what type of ally the capitalist or the terrorist is not the police. Okay, so it brings in the allies and it also brings in huh? Oh, you're about to find out. Um, it also brings in the question of who's responsible, right? So depending on um, allies and depending on things that come in, they were discussing that. Okay, depending on what who, depending on your definition of terrorism, right, it's going to change according to who is responsible. Okay? All right. So, any additional information you needed, any of y'all? Yes. Why did the IOTA list get the name Shirley? Okay. Anybody else? All right. You ready? Okay. Calamo is Israel. Iona is Lebanon. Paramar is who? The U.S. Calamo is Israel. Iona is Lebanon. Paramar is the United States. Yes. Like whatever. Okay. Yes, we do have a we do have a treaty. We're about to cover that. So notice the camp. Remember we talked about Camp David. Yeah. Okay. So that's gonna. Now affect our relations in the 80s, and we're we'll about to get into that one pretty soon. Okay. All right, hold on. The refugees are, are who? Any, any ideas? Palestinians. Or Palestinians. Okay. The camps were uh, certain camps that were around in 1982, the refugee camps in 1982. And the militia was a Christian group. A Christian group of militia. Okay, does that change anybody's opinion? No. Okay, so what do you know? This is the last thing I'm going to say, and then I'm going to come, and then we got to kind of wrap up because last, but we'll finish the rest of the podcast. Um, here's my question. What do we as Americans uh, mostly know of the Israeli-Palestinian Okay, true. That happened in the 40s, right? So we gave them their own country. But what happened in terms of like, or how do we view the conflict in general as Americans? They can't release the conflict. No, that's not true. We don't. We don't view it in that way. We view it opposite. Do we get into it or do we not get into it? We don't. Yes, we get into it. Why? Because we support Israel, right? Why do we support Israel? Because why? What'd you just say? Oil. Okay, right? So the Israeli-Palestinian conflict is very one-sided when it comes to Americans, right? So what are, the, what are those three scenarios that you just, Palestine was thrown in there. What does that do to your opinion of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict? It's Israel. Yes.
Because it wasn't planned, I just took out the support. Okay, all right, so you took out the planning part. Okay, yes. Y'all changed your definition? Yeah. In what way? We, okay, so we uh, changed the way we feel about it because of the specific beliefs of the definition. Okay. We add that to it with or without notification. With or without notification. Kind of like that a little bit. Okay. Y'all can refund it or no? Yeah. Um, in our definition, we said that the reason you feel like your actions are taken off base is the belief that you need and you have it on the political games. Political games. Alright, uh, tomorrow, test, chapters 26, 27, 28, 29, okay, I know it's a lot, 26 through 29, pass those back up to me, actually, if one of y'all will gather them for me, because I want to finish them with you, alright, no, that's fine, I want to finish them with you, uh, yeah, how about Jackie? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sure. All right, Devontae's going to take them up. And I'm going to turn it to Devontae. Y'all say goodbye.